Tense use, we call metaphor, action, uh, sorry, action uh, word picture to describe how yet small the tongue is but powerful. You mentioned bit. Everybody knows what bit is, right? Amen, yes. A bit is a small type of horse tack. That's the one. Used in equestrian activities, usually made of metal or synthetic material that is placed in the mouth of horse. So you can control a horse through the bit. If you want to go left, right. <laughs> who, who experienced horseback riding here? I haven't experienced yet, so I don't know. So I just ask the one who knows. And then the next one is rather. Rather, LEC. LEC James compares. James compares the tongue to a rudder on a boat. So we know the Titanic, right? The Rose, Rose, Jack, Jack. Well, we're, you know, you know that movie, right? So the, the Titanic is the largest uh, passenger line ever built. Amen? So, but struck by, with an uh, iceberg. Iceberg, iceberg. <laughs> So both the beat and the rudder must overcome contrary forces. Of course, the bit. If the one who's riding the, the horse is not strong enough, he cannot control the horse. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Same thing, same thing with, the, with the boat. Because the boat, it has to uh, fight the wind, the strong current. I remember two years ago, that was February of 2010, uh, we had this uh, called Falling in Love with Jesus, a concert for the youth. That's how they you know, got exposed. And after a month or so, I was standing here, I remember, I was standing here exhorting about Titan offering. And then one of the sisters uh, stood up and went to the bathroom and he gave me a look, she gave me a look like this. Oh, I said, oh my God, what, what, did I, what have I done? So this not, you know, this, this, I'm not ashamed of this. I, I should be shameful, but I learned from it definitely. So when she walked over there, she said, she gave me this look. I said, oh my God, what, did I, what have I done? But one of the sisters called me at night. And then she said, do you know what you did? I said, no, what have I done? She told me that I said something. That was two months before, before the concert, that I said something offensive, you know, about <coughs> the pastor. And I didn't even realize. I was not aware of that. The, my point is that James, you know, Compare tongue, compare the tongue to a bit or a rudder, because the, the one who possess, who owns this tongue, that time is not strong enough to control it. Amen. 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 They admit it. Amen. But God is so gracious and merciful. I Amen. repented, asked for forgiveness, and God Amen. forgave me, and the sisters forgave me. Amen. And now we're very, very close to God. Amen. Amen. I love you, sister. I love you, <laughs> what the fire can do, right? Let's see. What is that? It says in 5, verse, verse 5 and 6, in the same way, the tongue is a small thing that makes grand speeches, but a tiny spark can set a great forest on fire. Oh my goodness. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Today I want to share about, I want to take this opportunity to talk about you parents and children. Because everybody, everyone knows that we, every once of the week, once, once a week, I mean, we do have Bible study with the kids. And, you know, we share each other's burdens and problems and pray about it. Amen. Amen. Now they're, they're standing for the Lord. Amen. This what they call, in other, I heard about this, they call Next Generation Church. Amen. Amen. See how Ali boys, you know, courageous enough to stand here. Amen. When I was that age, man, I was playing computer games. <laughs> We're so blessed. So, um, parents, what you speak to your children is their destiny. Parents, <laughs> parents. <laughs> are the biggest influencers to your children. 
We're in the midst of culture war right now. I've experienced that. I was, I was born in the Philippines. I, ra I was raised uh, in the city. So far away from my parents because they live in the province. It's like 10, 12 hours, no, 8 to 10 hour drive. It was far. And so, you know, <laughs> so, I've experienced it. I did drugs and some other things that I'm not, I'm not you know, I'm not proud. But that time, because I, I thought it was right, because the society, I thought, is accepted in the society. But in the sight of God, it's not right, right? So, parents should be the dashboard. What is the dashboard? Your automobile dashboard? Yeah. When you're driving, you see the rear view mirror. You see the, you know, of course, the steering wheel, the, the panels, whatever, right? The AC controls and all, everything. So your children should be your dashboard. You should know everything. You should see everything. Amen? Talk to them. Be transparent. I'm sorry, kids, but, you know, the thing is, why would these kids open up their problems to other people? Why couldn't they open to their own parents? There must be something wrong. Right? 